Let me tell you something, son. Oh, oh I'm sorry, were you, were you talking to me? Yes, I was, you little spood licker. Anyway, you may have noticed recently that our, uh, our shed uh, recently broke. It's very unfortunate. Okay, I, I feel like there's another part of the story that I'm not going to like. Tell me, son, do you know why our shed broke? Somehow you're gonna you're gonna make police chases a part of this. I don't know how, but I know it's going to happen. Actually, son, you would be incorrect. It's not because of police chases. It's because of the lack of police chases. <sighs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Do go on. Well, you see, son, these days uh, quality control isn't what it used to be, and so in order to make sure that we get the best possible and strongest sheds. The police are now conducting police chases through the structures in order to test their integrity. Go ahead and look over to your right, and you'll notice a lovely minefield of sheds. So you're telling me that the standard by which sheds are judged is whether or not they can hold up to a freaking police chase. Yes. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm saying. Look over there! A police chase is currently happening now to test these sheds out. The time has come, son. Whichever shed is still standing is the one we'll be taking home. Keep your eyes on the prize, child. That, son, is why quality control is so important. My brain is melting. Yeah, lower but agrees to listen. We're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here in the South Californian Highway, there's plenty of miles of roads in order to test metal sheds. A lot of people have wanted some big rig stuff. Big rigs are a little weird because realistically, they're so potent that not many police vehicles can actually stop them. But we're gonna start putting together some blockades over here with these uh, these sheds, which are fully destructible sheds, a mod. I'm gonna have links in the description about it. And I have some extra special police cars over here too. Behold, the new Sunburst police vehicle with a brand new kick-ass push bar on the front. We just need to stick some poor schleps inside and it'll be ready to go. Now back behind us, we have a big rig and the big rig does have a very special engine in it that I've souped up. And realistically, the sheds here aren't gonna provide enough stoppage. So eventually we're gonna start putting cars in the way as well, like an appropriate roadblock as things get more and more insane. But let's see how just a basic big rig does. Right over here. The basis upon all which future crashes will be measured. We have Maximilian moves. He's wanted for $6,000 in unpaid blockbuster late fees. Let's see how he does. Now the police cars are like, like annoying flies. You notice, I don't really expect them to do very much even when they try and overtake the big rig. Now when things start getting down to the, uh, to the, I think when the police vehicles is getting a little bit freaking hasty. It does not have the mass to take this thing down. But when the big rig plows through, the guy inside fears nothing. I'm actually surprised that the big rig has not tipped at all, and it hasn't. It has stayed on its wheels, and for the most part, I believe I would say that it's made it past most of the road blockage. It's not really moving any longer. I think it got past, eh, there was one, there was one left. All right, I made it so that Maximilian won't have to deal with the police until he gets all the way down here. So he's got maximum speed coming up to the very first shed. And oh my God, he blows right through. Got the door open and everything so he can have a little bit of airflow. There we go, third shed. Doing well, there comes the police vehicle. I'm pretty sure that dude just got scalped. Fourth shed. You know, that fifth shed, that's the one you wanna take home. Look at how, look at how well 
It can hold up to all that damage. Hey, Dad? Yes, son? Uh, why are we still here? Don't we usually get deleted by now? Well, you know, we've been exposed to the audience multiple times, and now we're kind of sticking around, just like herpes. So I decided the regular big rig needed to be a little bit more excessive, so I put a friggin' snow plow on the front. Let's see how this does. Should do fairly well. You can see the police are really starting to speed up behind this thing. They should catch up right as he starts to hit. Oh, yes. Oh, get in that air, baby. <laughs> Lord in heaven. Yes, all oh, the snowplow makes all the difference. Holy God. Look at what has happened over here. It is a straight shot through, for the most part. It did miss two of the uh, the sheds over there, but man, everything else in the way just got friggin' wrecked. Even our dummy is doing pretty well. Look at him, he's looking confident and cool and everything. What's that, you want a bigger and more ridiculous truck? Okay, right over here, we have Lionel Longwood. He's wanted for using hardwood when the job clearly called for softwood. Here we go. Lionel is rolling down the highway. Sadly, his wood may be a little bit too powerful for mortal men. You can see most of it is just, oh my God. I was gonna say, most of it's kind of hanging out right now. The wood is getting a couple of hits in on the uh, on the, the, the shedding. And it looks like the, the part of the truck that keeps the wood in one space has taken out one of the police vehicles. That wasn't exactly what I had intended. Let me see if I can get this thing a little bit straighter. Now we're on the straight and narrow. Oh, that moment when you realize that the last crash moved your stigs. Oh crap, yeah, whatever. Here we go. Yes. Don't let those, don't let those freaking sheds tell you what to do. Wow, the sheds are not telling this guy what to do at all. Leonel is just, Blasting through all the sheds he did. He made it through every single shed. And although the wood raineth down like glorious logs of golden turgidness, it still isn't enough to stop this glorious beast. Now I will say that as the police cars come into this, they might they may find themselves slightly lacking in force and what is happening with that piece of wood? Now yeah, whatever. Still pretty tough, regardless of how warped it is. Now, I'm gonna say, uh, just a moment here as we stop things. That is Final Destination style neck breaking. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna give this a go. I've got some extra vehicles down here trying to, uh, you know, provide a road blockage. You can see again, the police cars, when they hit this thing, it doesn't do, it doesn't do a damn thing. There's nothing at all. Oh my God. There goes the, <laughs> what happened over here? The pigeon just went flying. The logs are just destroying everything in their path. It's actually grabbing part of the police cars and using it as a battering ram. It is just dragging what is left of the roadblock police cars with it. Look at how insane this is in the background. One of the police vehicles is just flipping end over end over and over and over again. I don't know how many times that thing has flipped and the destroyer on the front of the log carrier is just absolutely unstoppable. All right, this should be a nice clean hit. The police cars are coming up over here, but it's again, I don't think they're really gonna do very much. So this should be a beautiful shot through the front of the police vehicles. Oh, just tears it apart. Second police vehicle gets rolled like it ain't no thing. And, oh, oh Jesus. And now we have a clothesline effect going on over here. There goes the trees through another one of the, another one of the sheds. And from there, it kind of stops. It manages to get through almost all the sheds except for one. And then you have a couple of police cars tailing in the background. Now. There's one other horrifying creature that we can use here to try and get through all this, and I think it has to happen. Let me ask you something, son. Have you ever seen a commuter bus on steroids? No. No, that's a stupid question. What? Who, who's gonna see that? You are today, my boy. Look up at the top of the hill. It's time to have a bus with a ram plow with jets on the back of it. Right over here, we have Gloria Soft, sir. She's wanted for opening up an ice cream parlor laced with laxatives. Let's see how she does. I'm expecting good things from Gloria, mainly because of the freaking rockets. The rockets should really do it. Now, 
it looks like she's catching the side over here. Wow, one of the police vehicles just blew up. Straight up blew up. She went past. One of the other police vehicles has the dummy almost hanging out the side of the vehicle. His legs are kind of uh, at awkward positions. I would expect there to be some broken uh, femurs in there, have you? But uh, the bus continues onward a little bit further than I would have thought it to go. It's actually going for this uh, patented white beam NG truck. And it's gonna miss. Let's see if we can ro line the uh, rocket propelled sadness up a little bit better here. Oh my god, that is a beautiful hit. <laughs> Woo, Lordy! Bring it on through, baby! Bring it on through! How many things are left? Two? Yeah, two. But man, it went right past the, the blockade. I mean, the blockade, it's like it wasn't even there. It's carrying at least two of the of the uh, sheds with it you can see the bottom portion the base if you will of the shed effectively becoming part of the plow it's turned into this weird transformer-ish optimus prime vehicle now if you want something done right you gotta do it yourself oh gray's gonna handle this okay maybe i'm not gonna handle it oh jesus i thought i would handle it handling it turned into firing like a cannonball shot through a time dimensional portal intrinsic freaking time space continuum rocket propelled sad generator i missed one of the police cars well sort of i tore part of the front off oh it's right on the money it's right on the money baby this is what i've been waiting for come on get them all for the love of god all i want you to do it's just get all the sheds, even that last one. That last one must die. I don't think it's going to, though. I want to see it fall. It's totally not going to. We shaved part of it off. But the last shed is going to somehow stand. I'm going to drag it with me a good long ways. All right. There's one last thing that I have to put against these sheds, because if I don't do it, people are going to ask for it. I know someone's going to be like, But Gray, you didn't put a jet plane through it. All right. Here you freaking go. I shouldn't have to describe exactly how bad of an idea this is. Let's fire some shots at the... Wow, the shots work pretty good. <laughs> the shots work pretty good at messing up the freaking uh, sheds over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. See, the wings are like little blades. And the bullets really do take care of almost anything that's in the way. Uh, it's just a matter of... You, have to, you can't really, like, fly very high. With the plane, you kind of have to keep it sort of low to the ground so that you can catch like this. I don't really know how much further it's going to go. It's not that it's that heavy. It's just that it's fast. Don't let me down, Jet. Don't you let me down. Yeah, the Jet doesn't really have a lot of uh, a lot of concussive force. Like when you compare it to a, uh, to a bus with a bus destroyer. And if, oh my god, alright, I don't know what the engines are starting to do over here. Some sort of satanic ritual began to happen with the uh, turbines. But yeah, when you put it up against something like a bus destroyer with some rockets on the back, there is no competition. Hey folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of BMG Drive, where we got to see what happens when you put really, really fast big rigs and buses up against a whole slew of sheds. And the answer is... Pain and sadness. You know what? I found what can get through all the sheds. Just takes two buses. That's all you have to do is just throw more money and more power at the solution. If there's anything else you want to see me try and do, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and, uh, I don't know, put a giant plow on the front of the old like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.